Hi everyone, this is Diane. I'm working on <coughs> sorry, the Steampunk Sea World, Mechanical Sea World journal. I think I showed you this cover with all of its elements collaged on there. And my intention was to get all the pockets and um, like have all the pages built and the pockets attached before I started a video and then I was going to make um, tags and cards to put into the pockets because I have a lot of pockets to fill. But I've been doing a lot of decorating along with the building of the pages and the adding of the pockets and I still don't have things to tuck into the pockets. So I'm just going to turn the camera on and we're going to go. So I think this signature is done except for filling the pockets. So we can look at that another time. And this one, let me just look at this one real quick. I'm working on this one at the moment. Let me see how close we are to finishing this one. All right, I have to sew that pocket on. Compared to this one. Okay, we got a fabric flip there, right? Yep, we got a fabric flip. been added on to. All right, I have this pocket to do. So I want to decorate it before I sew it down. And this one I need to decorate, but that's not adding a pocket. I think all the pages are built on this one. to put a pocket here. And it will be something like that. Like that. With tracing paper behind it. I need to do that. So I do have work to do on this one. This journal is taking, uh, I'm doing a lot of details on this, so I was hoping I could finish it this weekend, but I do not think I will be finishing it this weekend, especially since I have to make all the things to put into the pockets. Well, let's just continue working on that. I was hoping I had a little bit more of this one done. I embellished this page, the front page, And I just want to sew this, or glue, this piece of trim. <coughs> Sorry, piece of trim on there. Uh, it's the extension of this, and it's just this plain background. So I thought, well, I'll just find a trim that would look good. And I think that matches the theme of mechanical and steampunk. I mean, mechanical and sea, because of the color and the shapes, I guess. So each page that I'm decorating like this takes quite a long time because I'm adding alcohol inks to the gears and um, doing a lot of rearranging when I make my collages and figuring out what to do. But I stamped this lady. She's from a Tim Holtz set called Victorian, I believe. And this is another Tim Holtz set. I forgot the name of that one. But it's part of a gear. Um, piece and so I stamped that on top of her with embossing ink and embossed that with copper embossing powder and then I tinted her so she looks like a tinted photograph and these two pieces of seashell are actual Victorian pieces that I soaked off of a scrapbook page I got 
quite a few scrapbook pages at the flea market that had a lot of Victorian ephemera. So I just soaked them right off the page and they are antiques. And then this one is, oh, this one is also one of those. There's, that needs a pocket or a, a tag and this needs a tag. I cut a little slit in that seashell and put it on his head as a little hat. So I'm just adding lots of seashells and sea life images and uh, a fabric flip in each signature and adding gears and things in addition to the pockets and this is just a page from a field guide that I tucked in there. Here's a fun little pocket that I made with an embossed piece. It's a crackle embossing folder but it looked like coral to me so I put it on a light blue background and then I rubbed um, an ink over it that makes it look like coral. And I put, this is a alcohol ink tracing paper that I had colored before when I made mermaid journals and I still had some of it left. So I put that behind it and I really like the way that looks with this dark uh, embossed seahorse that I cut with the Big Shot. And I have a pocket here to fill. Did some stamping on this page. So I, I just built this page up today and added that gold trim at the top, added this page to the, to the little flap piece. And then I added this dolphin. I did this in a, uh, not too long ago, creative play video when I was trying out um, some art media. I think it was the little shimmer crayons or something but I made some backgrounds and stamped C images. So I, I made a little pocket out of that and added some of the gears. These are some of the Graphic 45 little tags. So that one has ready-made tags inside it. And I just did this one today too. I had created him earlier in the ephemera making video, but I cut him out and uh, just rubbed some kind of matching ink so to cover up all that cream color cardstock and put these gentlemen behind it and stamp the future belongs to the curious. And for this little flap, all I did was add uh, one of the field guide pages, put a little washi tape over that little strip that had text because this was the cover of the paper pad. And I have this little pocket that was embossed and inked and I added a sticker here and another tag from this paper. So I have another pocket to fill there. Stapled a little stamp there. Made a belly band here with some this really cool gear stamp. I stamped it on there twice. I think that's the length of it and then I stamped it again. And I stamped and cut out those gentlemen and added them. I think they're really cool looking. So I'll put something in there. This is a piece of vellum that I, um, I glued a piece of tracing paper or tissue paper that came from your creative studio. And, and this was in the box of stuff from my friend Leslie. And I just glued the tra uh, tissue paper to the vellum punched a little eyelet there and added a sand dollar charm. So I have to decorate that tag. And uh, here's the little pocket I made. Just finished making that one. And so now we're on this page and I was lining up elements to glue down. And I thought I better just turn the camera on now because it's getting late. And I uh, wanted to make a video today. So this is what we're doing. I had made this part. I cut that piece of coral out with a die out of this piece of cardstock. It was like a 6x6 six six cardstock piece from Stampin' Up. It's kind of like a rose gold and it's not exactly glittery but it's very shimmery. And it was hard. I won't use this in the Big Shot again because it's thick. It's got 
it's I almost thought it was a sticker because it's like two ply but it's not a sticker so um, and it was hard to get all the things punched out because it was so thick but it gives a metallic look when you put the alcohol ink on it because there's metallic underneath I guess so that's my coral and this was one of the your creative studio coral pieces so I need to alcohol ink these gears and then this is a shell cut from a field guide and this is one of the antique pieces we're gonna do all of those on this page so I have this shimmery one just bright metallic one and these two plain pieces of cardstock and we'll check out the difference with alcohol ink this um, got cut off but I'm gonna put that on the edge I had it I had it too close to the edge of the paper when I made my die cuts I guess so that'll just go on the edge of that pocket I've been using alcohol ink a lot for this journal which is fun Butterscotch, peach bellini, ginger. I don't have a brown brown. They're all kind of yellowy browns. So I'm going to have to look to see. Oh, here's caramel. Let's do that. That's probably yellowy too, but maybe a little more brown. I just drip some on here randomly. This soaks right in. Perhaps I should emboss those two pieces, the paper pieces, but we'll see. They don't have to be shiny. So there's a brown, um, and because of the yellow yellow tones in the browns, whenever I try to do a blue, um, it turns green because it's the blue mixing with the yellowy tones, and blue and yellow make green. This one is turquoise. This one is patina. It looks very green mixed with that color on that bright gold. Um, patina is a kind of a green. I have one called stream. This one is stream. heat gun. I love the way the alcohol ink dries on that bright gold paper um, but I didn't get the tips of the gear very wet so I'm just going to dip them in that alcohol that's still wet here before I dry it just look really brown but that's okay because a lot of things that have been in the water for a long time look like that. hope I wasn't yelling too loud. This little shell poking through. And I had this shell here with some gears. Yeah, we've got some bright and some dolls. I like it. Get 
that glued in place first and then I'll put glue all over the back. And these will be separated by more pages. pretty that looks. This is not a pocket, this is sewn right down, but we have journaling space right there. I think on the first pocket that I did like this, I just rubbed some ink over it, some brown ink lightly, like vintage photo. But this one, I did some embossing with copper embossing powder and then the Tim Holtz embossing glaze that matches this paper so it, you can't really see it but you can see the shine here and there on it and added my fish that we had done in the first video I don't think that page needs anything Let me just make sure I didn't want to do something the uh, signatures are similar but not the same. There's lots of different uh, elements and treatments in each signature. I might want to just put a piece of tool on this page. is blue but it's very pale but when you bunch it up you can see the color a lot better So I think I will end up sewing this on there and then maybe gluing him on. Now this is the, the thing that they're hard to punch out and so I thought rather than punching them out I'm just going to let them be um, embossed on there because seahorses don't really have holes all the way down their bodies. I can cut this piece out though. This piece that doesn't belong. One of the things that attaches the seahorse to the page, and you have to cut it off. But it's still attached to that pointy thing. 
Okay, now I can cut that off. So that's something I'll do off camera. I won't even I will emboss him, but you just watch me emboss, so I'm not gonna do that again. Or not emboss, but alcohol ink. So then I guess that's everything for this signature except for filling the pockets. I think this trim here makes it thick and pushes the center signature out. So I'm going to trim just a little bit off of that. too long. Okay. This is the middle signature. I really like that collage. This is the final signature. So the first and the third have vellum flaps on the front. The middle one has a collage on the front. So let's see what we need to do. I will sew this on but I'm not going to sew it right now. But I want to punch a little thumb notch there. Where'd that punch go? Here it is. I'm using this tab punch and just getting that um, shape, geometric shape, angled instead of curved. Ouch! Pinched my thumb right in there. So you get that kind of a notch. Can you see it? I can put a little tag in that pocket. There's a pocket on the fabric. Okay, pay attention to what I need to do. All right, so I need to go back to this. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Right there, I wanna do some stamping. Putting my heat gun away, hanging on a hook on the wall, and I'm looking at my stamps over here. Punky and oceany. So I think um, I'll do that in a light color and this in a darker color. Put that on top. ordered some inks from Stampin' Up because they had a sale. If you spent so much you would get 
half price, or not half price, <laughs> I wish, you would get uh, free shipping. And I needed some inks. So I ordered some light blues, different shades. But I don't have it yet. So I'm going to try this. This is, um, I don't know. I'm going to try it here. And then... Yeah, I think I like that one, the second generation. I like that. I don't even have a good brown. I ordered uh, brown from Stampin' Up! also. But I have... stays on brown, which is so dark it almost looks black, and I don't know where it is. I've got a few buried over here right now. Here's a stays on brown. I don't know if I should stamp the dolphin in brown. Let's try it. Let's try it in a navy blue. This one is called Midnight Muse. for the lid. It's attached. Silly. All right, now maybe I'll use the brown for that. Interesting. I think I am going to sew that on because I want the rust thread on there to make it stand out from that page, from that background, and then I'll glue this on. So I do need to sew that. But what am I going to do on this side of the page? That's a very large picture of a seashell. I think 
going to stamping the gears along the top. This is one of the antique pieces. It's something with a different shape. It's an antique one also. It has a little bit of a pearly look to them. Still the same shape. Wish I had starfish. already. I want that one to be on top because it uh, is the antique one. I have to showcase it. And it really has a bit of a, almost a metallic look to it. My grandmother and grandfather used to go to Florida and they had a camper that was right on the back of their little pickup truck and she I think she had a sister in Florida or some family in Florida they would go down there but she had a round bucket like a cardboard bucket but it was round and it was full of seashells and so when my sister and I would go over to my grandmother's for whatever reason we were there we would, she would let us get the bucket of seashells out of the spare bedroom and we would just have them out on the floor playing with them. I got some ink on there. Yeah, I, I think I like that with the gears along the top. I like that. This one got torn when I soaked it off the page, but I want to use it, but I don't know. This page is, that doesn't go there. Do a little stamping. 
This is from your creative studio, from all that stuff that Leslie sent me. embossing powder on it. Okay. That's not too dark. I like the stamp that came with the Graphic 45 set. It says Sea of Wonders, but I have other ones, other stamps that I got out with words. I already used that one once, and I think I used Vagabond Society. I've got so many ink pads out now that my little tray is just covered. How about Wanderlust? My tray is covered with ink pads and stamps, and it's hard to find what I want. I want to use this one too, Thoughts and Theories. Somewhere in here. doing a lot of decorating on the pages, but there are so many pockets that there'll be lots of cards and pieces in the pockets to journal on, but there's still a lot of journaling space here. Just to build that out a little bit, I just punched a scrap of paper and sewed it on there, and there's a tiny little tuck spot there. Where did all my little ephemera pieces go from the journal kit? Some of them are quite small. Like this one. Here they are. I did not want to just glue them down because the backs of them are so nice too. I think I like that one in there. Okay, now what else do I have to do to this page? I think we're done with that page. We're almost done with this video too. Getting close to where I can just go ahead and make journal cards and tags. I don't think I need to do anything else to this page. There's a lot going on here. Lots of pattern, different pieces sewn together. So the other ones have a belly band here, so I need to make a belly band. this pocket. Well, I don't have the belly band 
planned yet. So just because I'm running out of time here, I'm going to do something to this piece. I've already torn the edges. So I am going to just ink this one and glue it to some uh, vellum. This is coffee. How dark is that? Just wondering what it would look like with a pattern stamped on there. I don't see the stamp I just used. Oh, it's right there. It is right in front of me. Just going to stamp it on the back. It's very faint right now, but I think I think I would like that. Let's try it. just a little bit of a grid pattern on there. I've got a little piece of vellum here. Just glue that down and tear the edges of the vellum and then glue it on as a little pocket. It's going to be a smaller pocket than the other ones of the same type. making it a tuck spot, I'm making it a pocket. I'll just have a small tag in there. And I can glue something to decorate that pocket. side. Oh, that piece of coral looks good. Let's do that piece of coral. Just using this because of the finer tip on it.
put something in here. Now I made this big, nice big pocket here and then forgot all about it when I fastened this pocket on with eyelets. So now we have this pocket and this pocket, which is fine. I think it makes it more interesting. So I thought I could use one of these t skinny tags right in there. And there's space for journaling on the backs of these. So, I just have a little bit of sewing to do, and I have to make a belly band for this page. And then I can make tags and journal cards, and maybe I will make another video for that. But we are coming along very nicely. chunky little book. I'm having fun with it. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you'll come back to see the tags and cards that will go in here and then come back to see the final flip through. That's going to be fun. I don't know what kind of fabric or anything is going to be on the spine. I don't know what it's going to look like when it's done and that's exciting, isn't it? To just see the finished product after you've watched it being put together. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.